Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. It's been a while and today we have a very important jailbreak update to share with you guys. Now, I know your time is valuable, so you will only find the most important iOS 14.2 and iOS 14 jailbreak related information in today's video. We're basically parsing over all of the small details. I'm only hitting on the bullet points, what you guys absolutely have to know. And speaking of value, you'll find nothing but value from our sponsor for today's video. It really helps us out if you you guys would check out Surfshark VPN and in doing so with the link down below in the description and the code ICU at checkout, not only will you save 83%, but you'll also get three months entirely for free. Talk about value, right? If you don't know why a VPN is needed, here are just a couple of the endless use cases. VPNs help secure insecure networks. In addition, they help to prevent your ISP or internet service provider from snooping on your personal browsing history. VPNs also let you access content on streaming services like Netflix that are restricted to specific countries. Super cool stuff. And besides all of the cutting edge features of Surfshark, they're our favorite here on the channel because they support a wide array of devices, as many as you have for a single subscription. Sign up now with the link in the description to save 83% and get three months entirely for free. Okay, so without wasting any time whatsoever, let's get into this. The other day, Apple released iOS 14.2 to the general public, and it looks really attractive on the surface. There are a lot of new features, including over 100 emojis, brand new wallpapers that definitely look flashy, and even support for Apple's upcoming HomePod mini devices. Seriously, look at all these awesome changes. However, if you are even the slightest bit interested in jailbreaking, you need to avoid iOS 14.2. I simply cannot stress that enough. And if you're wondering why, it's actually pretty simple. Let's go over here to Apple's security updates page, and we're going to scroll down to iOS 14.2. So once we find it right here, iOS 14.2 and iPadOS 14.2, you'll notice that on this linked article here, there are several kernel patches. Yes, that is right. iOS 14.2 is the first iteration of iOS 14 since its initial release that actually includes additional security patches over every previous iOS 14 iteration. That's right, this is the first time we're seeing kernel security patches pushed out by Apple in an iOS 14 update. So you can see here we have one, two, three, and four four total security bugs corrected in iOS 14.2. Now, in fact, some of these even state for the impact that, quote, an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges, which is actually fantastic, and that's what we need for jailbreaking. For those of you who don't know, everything that is not check rain basically at this point, which really mostly just consists of the uncovered jailbreak, utilizes what's known as a kernel exploit, okay? And that essentially allows for read and write privileges on the device. It allows for pwning the device basically and doing things like installing Cydia and then on top of that the user interfacing with Cydia to obtain any of the tweaks that we've all come to know and love over the generations. So we basically need that exploit to be able to jailbreak. Now, don't confuse a kernel bug or security flaw with a kernel exploit. There's still a lot of work that would need to be done, but Apple has effectively tipped their hat with the release of iOS 14.2. We know everything from 14.1 and lower is susceptible to these kernel vulnerabilities now. And what's required from here is first an exploit to be released to the public and then a hacker such as Pwn to Own would be able to implement this into something like Uncover, though much has changed from iOS 13 to iOS 14, so a number of patches would likely have to be rewritten and some work would have to be done with Cydia and Substrate to get everything functioning as we've come to expect from jailbreaking on these latest devices, and it's also unclear which processors they'd support. I'd reckon that it would include support for A13 and lower with potentially A14 coming at a later point because remember, these vulnerabilities do actually include support for the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro models, but the iPhone 12 Pro Max and Pro Mini will likely ship with iOS 14.2 pre-installed, so those would not be included because of course, these vulnerabilities are patched with the release of 14.2 
to, again, if you didn't catch what I said earlier, do not update to 14.2. You will effectively be lowering your chances of being able to jailbreak exponentially because at this point it's crystal clear that developers will be targeting iOS 14.1 and lower unless there is something like this in the future. Maybe Apple releases 14.2.1 which closes additional security vulnerabilities that the developers decide to target but for now working on the latest information we have they will target iOS 14.1 and below and we don't have any sort of time frame or ETA or window or anything like that. The only thing I can advise you guys to do is to just not update to iOS 14.2 and keep it locked to the channel. There have been a lot of reports recently floating around, some of which are more valid than others concerning the potential release of a new jailbreak utility. I wouldn't put much stock in anything until we either A, hear from Hacker Pwn to own, or B, actually get a utility released from some other source. But neither of those have happened yet. I'll let you guys know if and when they do. And again, like I said, just keep it locked here on the channel. I'll let you guys know when there are any major, and I'm talking really major developments in the realm of jailbreaking that you need to be made aware of. Everything else is just noise. Remember that. And uh, yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.